I'm Chef Paul Sturkey. Welcome to Six at Six. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make an amazing recipe that is simple, delicious, and fast using just six ingredients. So let's get started. So the Surf and Turf is made up of some jumbo sea scallops, broccolini, fingerling potatoes, private selection arabiata sauce. So I'm gonna thin that out a little bit with some heavy cream. I have flank steak, and the first thing I'm gonna do is start with the sides. Fingerling potatoes, I'm just gonna cut them in half. I have already preheated my oven to 375 degrees, and I'm just gonna drizzle a little olive oil here and a little bit on the sides of the bowl. We'll do a little sea salt and some freshly ground black pepper. And don't worry, you think that surf and turf sounds all fancy and all intimidating, it's really not. It's really gonna be great, simple ingredients that are gonna cook fast, which is the key. I'm gonna put them onto a baking tray. I have it lined with a little parchment paper because it's all about the ease and the speed of cleanup. The other trick here is gonna be, I'm gonna use the same bowl for the broccolini to season that as I did for the potatoes. So once again, one step and one less step, if you will. Hit it with the seasoning. We're back in business. On the other side of the tray, you can lay the broccolini out against the tray so that they get a little bit of browning, a little bit of caramelizing. Now let's head to the oven. Come on, let's go. And they're gonna roast for just about 20 to 25 minutes. So while our potatoes and broccolini are in the oven, I'm now gonna start working on the turf side of our surf and turf. One of the things I'm gonna do first, get this cast iron skillet preheated. I love using my Simple Truth organic olive oil. I use it on everything from salad dressings to steaks to seafood, which you're gonna see in just a minute. Once again, my salt and pepper. Make sure you evenly put it on there because it's really important with every bite. All right, so we got the skillet hot and we're gonna go right to the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and season the top side here. Let's go ahead and start our scallops. What you wanna do is take them out and they have a little bit of a connector muscle on there. Sometimes you find that. You don't wanna eat that because that can actually eat bitter. So just when you get them, take a quick look. They come off super easy, as you can see. Back to my trusty olive oil, my salt, and my pepper. So before we start the scallops, I'm gonna come back to our steak and turn it so we can get that going on the other side. Got beautiful, beautiful markings on there, nice caramelized color. A real quick tip for presentation, you can actually take the tip of your knife and make like a check, check box on the top, and when they cook, they open up and they look really cool. We'll just get them into the oil here. Put that cut side down. I'm gonna go ahead now and just turn the steak off and let it continue to cook slowly in the pan. We don't wanna overcook it. Check on our scallops. All right, we're gonna take these scallops out and let them rest for just a little bit. I said this meal was gonna be easy and quick and it's gonna be easy because in this same pan is where we're gonna make the sauce, which is our next step. The sauce is very simple, two great ingredients. One is heavy cream, which is one of my favorite things to use. I love how fast it thickens without adding anything else to thicken it with. The other ingredient that we're using, our sixth ingredient, is private selection arabiata sauce. Just gonna kinda give that a stir. You can see how beautiful this sauce is. It has the roasted garlic in there and the tomato. And I tell you what, I absolutely love this with the combination between the steak and the scallops and this. Trust me on this one, it is absolutely delicious altogether. And we're gonna get this steak out. You wanna cut against the grain so you have nice short strands. You can see how beautiful that looks. All right, this meal is almost done. So we have the steak done, we have the scallops seared, the sauce is ready. So now we're gonna get the broccolini and the potatoes out of the oven. Perfectly browned, nice and caramelized on the broccolini as we said. Okay, let's get this thing plated. Beautiful slices of the flank steak with the scallops. Potatoes, the broccolini, arabiata cream sauce, and that's all there is to it, a delicious dinner for two that is absolutely sure to please. Thank you very much for joining me at Six at Six. If you have any great tips for recipes and maybe one that you want to see me make out of six ingredients of your choice, just let me know. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Enjoy.